Well, we certainly learned a lot from LTT's first Linux daily driver challenge, didn't we? In my defense, a lot of that stuff was jargon that an average user might not understand. And all I was doing was installing Steam. I thought this was just stupid hoops I had to jump through in order to install something from the terminal. Stupid hoops? Uh-oh, I feel a video coming on. To be fair, I can see how a Windows user could misinterpret some of the more foreign aspects of the Linux way as stupid hoops. I mean, honestly, I thought the same thing about Linux when I first got on board. And similarly, I felt the same way when I started using my first Android phone. Linux is different than Windows. I mean, Linux isn't Windows. That's the title of the video. And guess what? It's not trying to be. And that's a good thing. From setting your Wi-Fi connection to metered to prevent Windows Update from cramming new, broken OS features down your throat, to installing third-party software to prevent Edge from opening hyperlinks, there are so many stupid hoops one needs to jump through to combat the ever-encroaching invisible hand of Microsoft's imperial ambitions. Windows and Linux function very differently from each other. The Windows operating system functions as an adversarial force, with the ever-present will of Bill Gates looming over your shoulder at every turn. Windows seemingly operates with a mind of its own, imposing its idea of what it thinks you're trying to do and getting in the way more than it ever helps. Because Windows is really the clippy of operating systems. Over the years, users have learned that they either need to subdue or trick Windows into doing what they want it to do, and it's become almost Pavlovian. Windows users have just become accustomed to disabling as much telemetry as possible, memorized by rote, flipping switch after switch during the install process just to maintain a semblance of privacy, all while knowing in the back of their minds that Microsoft is still watching. And Windows is now requiring that you sign in with a Microsoft account in order to use Windows 11. Yeah on your own computer. And even with all these egregious violations of your digital autonomy, that's not all of it. It's the little things, like ads built into File Explorer, like the start menu continuously changing across releases, specifically to push more apps and services that you don't need into your face. It's a broken search function that only ever queries Bing and not the search engine of your choice, or even the apps and files you have installed locally. It's Microsoft putting their profits ahead of your user experience and trying to coerce you into using their services and utilizing the hardware that you own to engage in soft extortion. And it's no wonder that people can feel this. Their BS detectors kick into high gear with every questionable decision that Microsoft makes. And there should be no illusions about this. Microsoft forces its will upon you. Windows engages in what can only reasonably be described as malicious behavior. Windows is the one that sets up stupid hoops that you need to jump through. But the thing is, Windows is the dominant OS, and people have been dealing with that slow abridgment of their digital liberty for literally decades. Much like the proverbial frog in a pot of warming water, they've just become used to it. Even when the Redmond-based OS produces radical changes, major inconveniences, and tangibly harmful results for end users, they've just become accustomed to these stupid hoops. And when people switch over from Windows to Linux, they naturally bring that mindset with them. I can't blame them. It's a defensive posture that most people who suffered from abuse adopt naturally. Microsoft has been harming them, and for them to just let go of that is not something we can expect to come easily. So you'll forgive me when I say that Linux isn't Windows. Like, that's obvious. Of course it's not Windows. But it bears repeating. On Linux, updates aren't forced on you. There are no ads baked into the OS. There's very little telemetry collected about your behavior. Managing the software on your machine is a cakewalk. And the entire system from the ground up is designed to empower you, the user. It gives you control over your machine rather than acting as a mechanism of control. And that's important. There are no stupid hoops that you need to jump through on Linux. There might be a different and unfamiliar process for achieving things that you're already familiar with doing on Windows. But once you've made the switch and you've gotten used to the Linux way, I guarantee you that the things you find tedious or frustrating on Windows will be easily and quickly solved on a Linux OS. And you'll find yourself actually enjoying using your computer. And I'm not just talking about things like playing video games. I'm talking about just using your computer. Linux-based OSs usually make using your computer fun. And that's not something that you can say about Windows. 
Look, Linux is by no means perfect. No operating system is. But for every outright flaw that Linux has, Windows has 15 more. And the difference is, where the problems on Linux are usually fixed by a community member, someone who loves and cares about what they're doing and they're contributing to, Windows's problems usually only continue to get worse because they are stupid hoops, and they're there by design to maximize Microsoft's profits and control over you. And that's why I'm a Linux user, because I'd rather work with my OS rather than against it. Well, you've made it this far into the video, so why not hit that like button? It really helps us out. You can also subscribe if you want to stay up to date with all the awesome stuff that we're doing here on the channel. But I'd like to know what you guys think. Let me know with a comment down below. I want to give a special shout out to my friends on Patreon and my YouTube members who've helped this show grow into what it is today. It's because of you guys that we're able to continue making this kind of content for you. So thanks. If you believe in the work that I do and you want to help us continue down the Linux